Hey there YouTube, this is Greg on Me 2005 and today we're going to do the unbox on the Troar Broil Little Tiny Portable Barbecue and we're going to do a review on it and we're going to hook a gas propane tank up to it and burn off whatever's on it. Alright guys, let's get into the review. As we flip it on the back side here, alright, maybe take the camera here moving in a little bit closer um from what it says over here it says high temperature finish lid and firebox porcelain coated grill grates and 190 square inches of total cooking surface and folding legs lock lid for easy transportation so basically the scoop on this thing was i had a little uh, Weber grill that was really old it lasted a long time and it finally gave out on me and that's the one I used to take with me to uh, Metropolitan parks and stuff like that and We needed to replace it and I found this charbroil on sale at our uh, Local Meyer store and this is on sale for $20. So wasn't too bad So let's unbox it guys All right, remove all the parts. Oh, that was simple. All came out in one. Let's make sure I got everything on camera here, guys. There we go. Looks like your porcelain grate here. Instruction manual, pretty thick amount. You know, this, honestly, it's decent quality, but I don't know, we'll, only, we can, we'll tell how it holds up later on. I give this thing a couple of years. That'll rust out. There's your uh, flame thing. There's your regulator, propane regulator. Do got some screws and assembly required here. Probably does something with the flame, I imagine. And then you got your handles, guys. See, on the Weber I had, they were wood. These look plastic, so, I mean, for $23, I'm not going to complain. And the actual barbecue, so this is quite a bit thinner than the last one, but it's not bad quality. And you got your legs here. Alright guys, I'm going to put all this junk back in the box and we will get assembling this. Alright YouTube, uh, it's pretty simple. You're going to need just a Phillips screwdriver. I got a Husky made in the USA right here. And the first step in the instructions is basically we're going to take the heat shield and then that flame, that burner. And we're just going to install it on the bottom of this grill. There we go. So we can get the camera angled in there. There we go, guys. You guys can see that. So pretty much we're just going to take this push this down here and then this is going to go through here through there and then we're just going to put that down there back the camera angle up and then this screw right here 
is just going to go on the other side of it through the heat extractor. Actually, let's get the screw in here first. And then the burner goes over here. And we just screw it in place. Kind of like that. It doesn't seem too hard so far. Alright, next step is we're just going to put the legs on. Let's move the camera back, guys. Alright, as far as the legs go, we're just going to kind of take one side of the leg, jam it through these holes over here. And that's it. And we'll repeat the process on the other side. That's it. As far as step number three, because that was step number two, looks like we're going to be putting... The heat distributor plate and then the handles. Heat distributor plate and then the handles on. So let me get the hardware and stuff set for that and we'll resume footage. All right, you two, I'm back. Basically, we're just taking the handle, okay? I did the one, and I'm going to do the other. You're just taking a, and then you're going to take this uh, screw here. Then you're going to take a fiber cloth uh, washer that they give you in the kit, and you just put it through here. It's quite simple. All right, make sure I got it lined up right. I don't even have it lined up right. And then you just take a uh, hex nut here that they supply you with. And it's as simple as that. Again, you can use a screwdriver to tighten it down. And I'm going to go do that to the other side and we'll go on to the next step, guys. Alright, guys, the heat shield just flops on down on there. It just sits on the screws with the nuts on it. And they just plop right in. And believe it or not, that next step after that in the directions is just putting this on. So that fits all good right now. And then we're going to uh, get the handles on the actual lid. And I will take a look at that and be right back, guys. All right, YouTube, this is quite simple. You got normal washers that are going to go on these nuts right here. All right, and then you have a fiber washer, like a felt pad one that's going to go above here. And then you have the uh, handle that's going to go in like this. Make sure you guys can see this on camera. And then we're just going to repeat the process on the other side. There we go. Very simple. use screwdriver I went over tighten that because the handle is plastic you don't want to crack the plastic on this handle I would just kind of go 
one torque and a turn and that's it next up we have is on the side over here they got like 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 a side plate or something that goes in here that's supposed to catch when these fold up so i'm going to take a look at the hardware and come back guys here all right guys i just went ahead and installed these they're like this like metal plate thing here and you put the screw and the nut through here and you're good to go and when you put that on there when that folds up i don't even know why they that's even required on there it's nothing to do with folding up but i got that i have no idea why it's even like that why they even did that There's gotta be a reason for it but i don't know Next step in the directions, let's see what we got. We're going to put the uh, regulator on there next. Uh, this looks pretty easy. Going to rotate and twist on here, and that's it. Let's see if we can do this on camera here. There we go that's it um i'm gonna we're gonna light it and we're gonna see um how it does we're gonna burn off all the paints and stuff so i'll be back guys all right guys i put the barbecue over here the most logical thing for me is just put it on the gorilla carts it's all metal i'm not gonna light it on a tempered glass table so I already installed the propane container, so we're going to put this to gas, and I'm going to go underneath here, you need to get one of these lighters, that was probably too much gas, YouTube, that's about half, I would recommend maybe a quarter next time. But it did light. Pretty sure she lit. If not, we'll do it again. See, my Weber had an igniter on the side. I didn't look over this one very well. I would have bought one that had igniter. Put a little more gas in it. I don't know if I like this. All right, YouTube, that puppy's lit. Obviously, you're not going to get the uh, massive power like you're going to get out of a bigger barbecue, but it's lit. Uh, again, it's $20. I would like to see a built-in igniter like the Weber, but again, the Weber costs $60 versus $20. But overall, that charboil, this charboil product is pretty nice. Pretty nice. You're just going to go camping on the go. Oh, it is getting really hot. Heat feels pretty damn even. It is kind of stinking. I'm going to put the lid on and let it bake. They normally recommend about 10 to 20 minutes. Let it bake off all the chemicals and oils that are on it. But overall, it's a pretty good product. And I most likely will be uh, cooking on it later. And I'll make a video on it. All right, guys. This is Greg on Me 2005. Take it easy, guys. Signing off.